Shalom. First and foremost, giving all praises, honor, glory, respect, and blessings to Yahweh, Bahashom, Yahweh Shai, Bahashom, Rachaha, Kwadash. Salutations to the Lord's elect on the four corners of the earth, pushing this truth and sincerity while patiently waiting for Yahweh Shai's return. And double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone, which have taught us everything we know through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashom Yahweh Shai. Now, you know, there's a lot going on in the world, a lot of events. You got this whole situation between Gaza and Israel and rumors of Hamas being backed by Iranian soldiers. You know, World War Three on the horizon. You know, there's a famine hitting the whole planet right now. Disease warfare. They're talking about spraying the uh, V-A-C-C-I-N-E into the air. You know, they're they're, they're allowing robots to interact with the public who go, go to you know, sports shows or whatnot. There, there, there's a lot happening. You know, a lot of uh, brutal things happening over there between Hamas and Israel that's not being reported on the media because it's too gory, too bloody to be shown. And while all this is going on, what do we have here? We have a bunch of unruly nigglets you know, basically conducting themselves as a bunch of monkeys, spooks, apes, gorillas, baboons, you name it. Little fucking gremlins. And this is why when the heavenly father Yahweh through his son Yahawashai start to execute mass judgment upon these two third little nigglets we're not going to pity and we're not going to show any, we're not going to shed a fucking tear. Okay, good fucking riddance. Okay. Good riddance. You know, here it is. We are Israelites, so-called Negro, Latino, and Native Indians. And we're supposed to be conducting ourselves like Israelites. Nations are supposed to look at us like, wow, this is a, a, you know, a great and mighty people. Surely the Lord, you know, has, has revealed his wisdom and his knowledge to such a people. But no, no. You see videos like this and this is an utter embarrassment to our nation. And then you niggas wonder why businesses are closing early. You got businesses closing at six o'clock, boarding up their windows. You know, they gotta buy gates, you know? You can't have shit with niggas around. Little nick, little nappy head nigglets.
smashing their way into a store in the Northeast during that looting rampage on Tuesday night. And tonight, businesses across Philadelphia are still on edge and taking precautions so they don't get hit again. Our Steve Keeley is live tonight in Center City. Steve. Yeah, police are taking precautions. You can see right where we are. It's been a long week for police, and they started putting out videos. And if you think you've seen the wildest of the Philadelphia looting, you haven't seen this. Guys with hammer and crowbar broke the glass doors of PC Richard on Cotman Avenue in northeast Philadelphia. And then the looters flooded in like old Black Friday shoppers. Notice the steel cage they had to cut through first on the outside of the doors. And the first guy going out within 12 seconds has a TV, skids and falls on all the broken glass. Then more guys with more televisions in boxes this time. Then a guy with two TVs, followed by a guy sliding out three of them. From a higher angle, you see the looters running through the store. Others who grab something smaller look undecided on whether to leave or go back for more. Detectives grab some still screenshots off this video of the few who went in without mask, hoping to get tips identifying them and wanting the guilty seeing themselves on this video first to come forward before the police come for them. As police look for help from the public in this Tuesday night looting video, they were on the lookout here on Friday night, especially around the Fashion District Mall on Market Street, where they again saw social media plans for a possible teenage flash mob. We saw police everywhere in Center City, and so did the public, wondering what was going on, and also saw police in the train exits under the mall, how teens usually get here through the food court, where the sliding cages were nearly closed all the way, except for three foot wide openings guarding by police to barely walk through and walk out, preventing any large crowds to all come through at once and overrun the place. Three nights after the Center City looting, Philadelphia police teamed up with the Philly Sheriff's Office and SEPTA police in what they call in football a prevent defense to prevent more scenes like this one from Tuesday from happening on Friday. And by flooding the zone, as one police commander put it to me, they're not only deterring any planned mass mob lootings, but they're also showing the city's business owners they've got their backs, their fronts, and as we just showed, they're underneath, too, even. Letting them not have to close early on what is true. This is why we say, fuck you, niggas. Fuck the two-thirds of you. Okay, you niggas are just a waste of space on the fucking planet, and I can't wait for Yahweh Bahasham Yahawashah to start deleting you niggas by the hundreds of thousands. Because you niggas ain't right. You're a bunch of unruly children. Let's get some scriptures. Also, let me do this. Yeah. Shit is wild. But then you niggas, you want to riot, you want to cry, you want to holler, you want to complain when, 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 when uh, there's a police shooting. Niggas getting shot with their hands up, but now you see why. Okay. If you are a so-called Negro, Latino, or Native Indian, you are an Israelite, and you're supposed to conduct yourself like a child of the Most High. Ain't no child of the Most High gonna go into a, a, a fucking store, breaking into places and looting and stealing. You know, you niggas, y'all, 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 y'all give the Most High, y'all, y'all make the Most High and His Son look bad. Okay, hey, we we ain't got no love or pity for niggas. Okay. Jeremiah 16 verse 1. The word of Yahweh came also unto me saying, Thou shalt not take thee a wife, neither shalt thou have sons or daughters in this place. For thus saith Yahweh concerning the sons and concerning the daughters that are born in this place. Right? And, and what did Yahweh say concerning the sons and concerning the daughters? Well, let's go to the book of Hosea, chapter 4, verse 6. My people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge because thou hast rejected knowledge. I will also reject thee that thou shalt be no priest to me. Seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy power, I will also forget thy children. And you see that when you see these little nigglets, these little nappy head nigglets breaking into shops and looting. You see that. Okay. 
So the Lord said, I will also forget thy children. So guess what? If the Lord forgot, if the Lord forgot that the children of this generation, how do you think they're going to grow up? They're, they are going to grow up unruly because they're being raised without the knowledge, wisdom or understanding of the Holy Scriptures. Which ultimately is able to save their soul because we know the knowledge, wisdom and understanding of the Holy Scriptures is Yahweh Shai. OK, but guess what? They don't have Yahweh Shai in them. OK, because if they did, they wouldn't be, you know, terrorizing people who, who's, you know, driving down the road trying to get by and shit. You know, they wouldn't be looting and breaking into shops and shit. So the Lord, the Lord forgot the children. I mean, not not that he know. Oh shit! I forgot all about these little nigglers. Nah, the Most High didn't forget. In other words, the Most High turned his back on on on, on the, uh, the 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 uh, the younger generation of, of this lifetime, of this generation, not lifetime, but of this generation. The Lord turned his back on the younger generation of this generation. That's why you got a bunch of unruly kids that's growing up, you know, doing things without a, without a second conscience in their mind. No morals, no values, just doing things carelessly, regardless of what the consequences might be, you know. But you know what? They're going to do that to the wrong person and they're going to pull out an AK and open fire on a bunch of you niggas. And guess what? Good fucking riddance. Because you're just a waste of space on this planet. You're, you're a useless fucking eater. You don't do anything that's productive for the Heavenly Father or His Son. You're just out there sagging your pants, smelling like doo-doo. Your head is nappy. You, know, you got a hole, hole in your fucking coat. Over here, jumping on cars and shit and kicking doors. You know, like, motherfucker... You didn't pay for that car. A bunch of unruly, disrespectful ass little gremlin nigglets. Thou shalt not take thee a wife, Jeremiah 16 and 2. Thou shalt not take thee a wife, neither shalt thou have sons or daughters in this place. For thus saith Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai, and there's no such place as hell. There's no such place as, as, as a, a place where people go and burn for all eternity. Okay, the scriptures tell you, especially in Ecclesiastes, the third chapter, that that who know if the spirit of man that goeth upward. Okay, in Job, in the book of Job, it tells you that that even the wicked go to the spirit world, where is paradise when they die. Anyways, for thus uh, Jeremiah 16 and 3, for thus saith Yahweh concerning the sons and concerning the daughters that are born in this place, and concerning their mothers that bear them, and, and concerning their fathers that begat them in this land, they shall die of grievous deaths. The word grievous means unbearable, tormenting. When you look up tormenting, it means torturous. The Lord is going to drag you motherfucking little black ass niggle, nappy head nigglets through the mud. And yeah, yeah, I am pissed off after seeing that video. Because we, we are children of the most high. So, so, you know, here it is. We're supposed to be conducting ourselves like children of the most high. And you got nigglets that's pretty much making the rest of the nation look, look, look bad. Which, you know, at the end of the day, you know, we don't give a fuck what people think about us. Fuck y'all. Okay? Who cares how y'all view, view the rest of us? Okay? Because at the end of the day, all of you Edomites, you, you Edomites, which is the self-proclaimed white man starting with the so-called elites, trickling down to the rest of their nation, the people, y'all are the biggest murderers, liars, rapists. Okay? Y'all are the biggest con artists. Y'all are the biggest thieves on the planet. So Jeremiah 16 and 4, they shall die of grievous deaths. They shall not be lamented. Ain't nobody going to shed a fucking tear for you nappy head nigglets when you perish. 
neither shall they be buried, but they shall be as dung upon the face of the earth, and they shall be consumed by the sword. What is the sword? That's the wicked. Matter of fact, let's go to Psalms real quick. Let's go to Psalms. Psalms chapter 17. Verse 14. Okay. Psalms chapter 17, verse 13. Arise, O Lord, disappoint him, cast him down, deliver my soul from the wicked, which is thy sword. So the sword of the Lord is the wicked. Okay, who's the wicked? Malachi chapter 1, verse 4. Whereas Edom saith, We are impoverished, but we will return and build the desolate places. Thus saith Yahweh, the Lord of hosts. They shall build, but I will throw down, and they shall call them the border of wickedness. Edom is the wicked. That is the sword of the Lord. Okay? Edom is the border of wickedness, just like I read in uh, Malachi 1 verse 4. Isaiah chapter 10 verse 5. O Assyrian, the rod of mine anger. Who are the modern day Assyrians? That's the Edomites, the so-called white man. And the, the, the Edomites, the so-called white man, is the rod of the Lord's anger. Okay, now I'm not just talking about just any old six-pack Joe cracker. No, I'm talking about the, the these self-proclaimed white people who, who are dressed behind a police uniform. Yeah, the, these policemen, that is the rod of the Lord's anger. And the staff in their hand, the staff in their hand represents... Uh, the, those guns you can a, a staff can also pass for a weapon okay so the, the staff the weapon in their hand what, what, what is that weapon well the modern day weapon today would be the gun okay the gun in their hand is mine indignation okay the gun in their hand is mine indignation so you see when you hear about all these police shootings, it's really being sanctioned and ordained by the Heavenly Father. And can, can you see why the Heavenly Father is allowing these policemen to shoot our people down in the streets? Look at how they behave themselves. The way you niggas behave, y'all look like y'all belong in a zoo somewhere, Be behind a cage. Nah, nah, but you know what? The modern day zoo today for humans is these prison systems. That's your modern day zoo. Like if, if you want to be entertained by, by niggas fighting and beating each other up and, and jumping and acting like a bunch of wild animals, go to prison. Yeah, you'll see all kind of uh, all kinds of uh, uh, of uh, atrocious things. So a lot of you niggas belong in prison, man. Acting like a bunch of zoo animals, man. You know, and it's crazy because cats and dogs and horses and donkeys and, 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 and gorillas and baboons and apes and, and tigers and lions. How is it that animals know how to behave better than, than, than nigglets? Isaiah 10 and 6. I will send him against a hypocritical nation and against the people of my wrath. Well, I give him a charge. But yeah, the Lord's going to give these Edomites a charge because the Lord controls the left hand as well as the right hand. So the Lord's going to put the spirit on these so-called elites to use the UN military. Well, when, 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 when the time of martial law comes, the Lord's going is going to put the spirit on the so-called elites to use the UN army to lock shit down. Okay. And the majority of you nigglets, that ain't right. Your yo ass is gonna get put to death by one of these UN army troops because they're not gonna play around with you. You see like these, these average police officers you see inside the mall standing around with, with their hand on their vests, you know. Oh yeah, okay, yeah, 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 they're there. You can, you can easily escape them. But these, you, but, but the, the, these UN army troops, Try, try doing that, try doing that, that looting shit around them. Okay? And, and watch how quick they put a foot up your motherfucking ass. Okay? 
they're going to you're going to get fucking roundhouse kicked right into the back of a SWAT truck and hauled off to a concentration camp to be some some human experiment. Because these are the times that are coming. OK, and the Heavenly Father is getting sick and tired of you nigglets. And the time is coming where the Lord is about to call back millions of, of, of you nigglets back to the spirit world. Meaning the Lord's going to take your spirit from your body and you going right back to the heavens. But I will send him against the hypocritical nation and against the people of my wrath will I give him a charge to take the spoil and to take the prey and to tread them down like the mire of the streets. And that time is coming. Okay, you won't get trodden down in an hour of martial law. And that's all there is to it. Jeremiah 16, verse 4. They shall die of grievous deaths. They shall not be lamented, neither shall they be buried. But they shall be as dung upon the face of the earth, and they shall be consumed by the sword. And there goes that word sword again. So the Lord is going to allow these martial law troops, especially these Edomites, that's going to be behind the military uniform, to basically have their way with you niggas, okay? You don't know how to behave or conduct yourself in society. So guess what? You're going to be a part of that draft. And you know what? A lot of these niggas that, that, that's out there jumping on cars and shit, breaking into shops and looting, guess what? These are going to be the same niggas that's going to get sent right off to the Middle East. Okay? Your ass is bad enough to jump on people's cars and kick people's doors and break into shops and loot. Guess what? You're badass enough to, to carry a fucking A. a, a you're badass enough to carry... A, a AK in your hand, dressed in, in, in a in a United States military uniform, all chipped up, over there in the Middle East fighting on the front lines. And a lot of you niggas, you ain't fucking tough. Okay, you think you're tough, but you ain't tough. You ain't shit. Okay, wait, 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 wait until wait until uh, Esau tells you you got to get drafted into the military. And a lot of you niggas, you look like you qualify to be put into the military. OK, 16 years old or, or even 14 years old. Esau don't care. He's a straight savage. He's going to send a lot of you nigglets into the military. OK, look at that. You're strong enough to carry a flat screen TV out of a shop. You're strong enough to carry a, 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 a um, AK in your hand dressed in a United States uh, a, a military uniform. And you're strong enough to take your ass over there and fight in the Middle East and get blown to fucking pieces. Okay, a lot of you niggas, you don't know how to behave. You know, you want to misbehave in public. You, you, you think you bad? Well, the Most High is going to show you. The Most High is going to send your, send your black ass over there in the Middle East to go fight in World War III. We're going to see how badass you are when your leg get blown off by a grenade. We're going to see how badass you are then. For thus saith the Lord. Okay. Hold on, let me finish up in Jeremiah 16 and 4. For they shall be consumed by the sword and by famine. Okay, there's going to be a food shortage. There's already a food shortage happening upon the globe. And their carcass shall be meat for the fowls of heaven and for the beasts of the earth. Okay, and a carcass is basically a corpse. Okay, for thus saith Yahweh, enter not into the house of mourning, neither go to lament nor bemoan them, for I have taken away my peace from this people, saith Yahweh, even loving kindness and mercies. Okay, you see that? Even loving kindness and mercies. Because if the Lord was merciful to these little nigglets right here, they wouldn't be out here looting. Or, or, you know, stopping people cars. You know, it's, it's kind of sad when somebody who's driving down the street have to make a, have to turn down, you know, the opposite side of the road 
just to get from point A to point B because you got a bunch of unruly nigglets who want to run into the middle of the street and terrorize people who, who are driving. You over here jumping on people's cars, kicking, kicking their car doors. Like, nigga, you didn't pay for that car. And you know, Salakio, I'm just putting myself, you know, even though I don't have a car, but, but, but hey, put yourself in the driver's situation. You know, what if a bunch of niggas jumped on your car and shit? You know, I mean, I mean, I don't mean to sound like a carnal person, but hey, yo, <laughs> yo, man, yo. I, mean, I, I don't want to say too much because I don't I don't like talking about my fighting style, but still. <sighs> Unruly niggas, man. Just 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 you, you're just there to, you know, do nothing. Useless nigglets, useless eating nigglets. Jeremiah 16 and 6. Both the great and the small shall die. The great is talking about the the the, the uh the older gener the, the the elder. Okay, as well as the um the younger. So the 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 um you know rather if you're 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 um you're up in age or rather if you're young, the Lord said you're gonna die in this land, which is America. They shall not be buried, neither shall men lament for them, nor cut themselves nor cut themselves, nor, nor make themselves bald for them. Neither shall men tear themselves for them in mourning to comfort them for the dead. Neither shall men give them the cup of consolation to drink for their father or for their mother. Thou shalt not also go into the house of feasting to sit with them to eat or drink. Shit is outrageous. I remember Chris Rock when I was a child, you know. When I was a child, I remember Chris Rock did this um this stand-up comedy. It was on a cassette tape though. But I was listening to it. And on the cassette tape, you know, his stand-up comedy was basically about niggas versus black people. And niggas have got to go. Okay. Zechariah 13 verse 8. And it shall come to pass that in all the land, saith Yahweh, two parts therein shall be cut off and die, but the third shall be left therein. Who are the two parts? That's talking about the two thirds of our people. They're going to be cut off and die. Okay, and, and, and as time passes on, you can clearly see why the Lord is going to, is going to kill two thirds of our people. You can see why. You know, seeing shit like this should really piss you off. Traditionally, a late night out on Friday, Jason. All right, Steve Keeley in Center City. Thank you, Steve. And let's. All right, Shalom. All praise to you. How will. No. That's why I'm glad the Lord woke me up to this truth, man. Because the Lord clearly forgot the, the younger generation of, uh, of this generation. And you can clearly see, you can clearly see it, man. You can clearly see it. <laughs> okay. And it shall come to pass that in all the land, save the Lord, two parts therein shall be cut off and die, but the third shall be left therein. The third is talking about the one third. That's why it says third. Sometimes when you say third, you know, the, the one is oftentimes not mentioned. 
because it's kind of self-explanatory. Third, which is really one third, but you know. And I will bring the third part through the fire. The fire represents Jacob's trouble and will refine them as silver is refined and will try them as gold is tried. They shall call on my name and I will hear them. I will say it is my people and they shall say the Lord is my God. So with that, I'm going to say Shalom is on to the next one. And, and, and death, death to the two thirds, man. You niggas have gots to go.